Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we'll be speaking about Manchester United's Calabao Cup semi-final first leg victory against Nottingham Forest. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Nottingham Forest nil, Manchester United free. And that was the perfect result away from home giving us a great opportunity to get our first trophy since 2017. But, and that's a big but, there's still plenty of work to be done. But before we get into the full breakdown, you know what time it is? Damn right that you should by now. It's time for the Question of the Day. Manchester United had eight different goal scorers in their 2015-16 FA Cup winning campaign. Can you name all of those eight players? It's a difficult one, but let's see if you guys have what it takes in the chat. Let us know in the comment section below, and at the end of the episode, we will reveal all of the answers. First off, we started perfectly in my opinion. No signs of fatigue. We were poised in our attacking moments and took advantage of that with an early Marcus Rashford goal. Starts with Lissandro Martinez at the back and a couple passes later, Casemiro into Marcus who drives into space like we've seen many times this season. He cuts inside and somehow gets through both Joe Worrell and Remo Fruda, gets into the area and makes no mistake with the finish. Marcus now the top scorer in this year's competition and since the World Cup has only blanked in one game which was the Palace draw. Some insane form and I hope, we hope, we all hope it continues. As the game progressed, it was clear that Forrest had to step up at home and they did. Having that crowd behind you will always help and I have to credit the travelling fans, brilliant yeah. as always once again. But in terms of the team, we started to get a little sloppy in moments. In the midfield, taking too long to release the ball, or even making the wrong decisions high up the pitch, giving Forrest opportunities to start counters. Brendan Johnson, Morgan Gibbs-White, Gustavo Scarpo, all threatened, and unfortunately for Forrest, they just couldn't finish their dinner. The one and only chance that they did, which was a nice side-footed finish by Sam Surridge, was chalked off by VAR offside settings. But definitely a warning sign for Manchester United that couldn't be ignored. I will say, Cappy, that the second half team talk may have been very different for both teams if Vout Vekos didn't get on the end of a Wayne Hennessy save to score his first Manchester United goal. Congrats to Vout Vekos, by the way. We scored some timely goals today. And I think getting a second just before half time may have been the most important of them all when you factor in the pressure for us were constantly putting on our midfield and back line. Right. They may have come out even more motivated to pull off a shock in the second half. Hmm. The second period was all about game management. Seeing out the result, we did that to near enough perfection in my opinion. Let us know what you think in the comments took the sting out of the game and part of that may be due to the reason that Forrest were just burnt out. They exerted so much energy in that first half then got hit with a close line from hell which happens sometimes in the game. Defensively, we dealt with a lot of the issues that came our way in the second half. Lissandro Martinez had himself a game in more ways than one. Passing, on point, winning aerial duels, blocks, all of the above. He was superb and deserved MOTM. The whole defence did a solid job really. Midfield also solidified the game even more. Before it happened I was looking and hoping that we could potentially brag that third goal which could give us the room to rotate and rest some key figures with the schedule ahead because we have a whole lot of games on the way. We have to utilise everybody. We remain the only team, or only English team, should I say, in four competitions. Mm -hmm. League Cup, FA Cup, Europa, and of course the Prem. So, it will eventually be hard to juggle all, but as long as we're in this position, 
It's an opportunity every game for somebody to step up. We saw Facundo come off the bench today and stake a little bit of a claim. Yep. Our Nacho, of course, was, has some good games. Sancho will be back eventually. Now mm. he's in training with the first team. Lindelof had a decent game today. Well, the other day, should I say now. <laughs> a couple mistakes, but solid for the most part. Everybody has a chance to play a pivotal role when necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, something's kind of flown out of my mind. But it's definitely time for something. I think it's the question of the day. That was me. Shut up. Roll the clip. Manchester United had eight different goal scorers in their 2015-16 FA Cup winning campaign. Can you name all of those eight players? So, how did you fare in this episode's question of the day? Let's reveal the answers right here, right now. So, in no particular order, here are all of the goal scorers from that campaign Wayne Rooney, Daily Blint, Juan Mata, Chris Morning, Jesse Lingard. Anthony Martial, who remembers that goal against Everton, absolutely hey. epic. Marcus Rashford and Marouan Fellaini. So if you got all of the names right, based off of your memory, you know what, I'll give you, I'll even give this to you if you've got the majority of the names. Slap a one in the chat. If you use Google, slap a two in the chat. Oh, don't be afraid to use Google. Ah. Uh -uh. But if you didn't even bother, and I feel ashamed to say this every single episode, think about how I feel. Step a free in the chat. But next time, please just get involved. It doesn't hurt. It's a bit of fun. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here, reaching the very end of the video. Hey, listen, just just go go crazy. Go ham on the keyboard, type some random letters if you reach the end of the video. But blessings to everybody inside as usual. Watch out with what's going on in the channel in the next few days. CM will be back with the FA Cup watch along for the Reading one. So that's going to be a mazzoline, ladies and gentlemen. As always, be sure to hit a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Share to your friends and frenemies. And until the next time, we'll see you lot soon. Bitch!